one. It uh, so it has a police package on it. I think. I'm not sure to be honest. Okay, you never done a burnout or anything. <laughs> Alright guys, so today I think this might be a, a pretty interesting video. Uh, so as you guys know, I'm, I'm doing the whole Supra, but you know, that's not, I'm gonna probably get it painted right after the first of the year. And uh, so the, you know, there's not, there's no drifting going on right now. The, the whole sob like blowing up in my face deal. Um, that video is coming out shortly, but uh, anyhow, so I am, uh, I'm on my little laptop right here. I was just cocking off on the internet. So I was on the internet last night and uh, there's this little, uh, you know, Haggard Garage. They're doing this. Season finale build. Damn it! I gotta go watch this advertisement. So they they bought this. Uh, it's a Crown Vic. I guess they paid like twelve hundred bucks. I was I was creeping through the comments, um, and then they uh, they did a, a pretty mean mean pill a fat pill in it, and uh, their lingo is pretty interesting. But uh, look at that fat pill. But anyhow. Um, so I commented on there, and I was like, Haggard Garage versus Motion Auto TV uh, Drift Taxi Challenge. And uh, so I sent them an email last night. We'll see what they say. They got like 60-some thumbs-ups on there. Um, I'm not sure exactly what... They did another video, like, prepping it, and I basically said that same thing. But I sent them an email last night, and uh, so my idea was to just do, like, uh, like, a challenge. I think that'd be pretty interesting. I'm not sure exactly what the criteria would be. But I uh, sent them an email, I was kind of waiting for them to email back, but uh, I don't know, we might just end up calling them out on account of, look what I found. So this is an 08 Crown Vic uh, P71, it, uh, so it has a police package on it. I think these comes with the, the better rear rear diff, like gear ratio, than the, the Grand Marquis, and I think they have a factory LSD in them. But it has 250,000 miles, it says it runs and drives great, new emissions, and odometer has been replaced, which I, I don't really give a shit about any of that stuff. Um, so I'm getting ready to call the guy. I just texted him. He still has it. He told me to uh, told me to call if I was interested. So uh, so I'm gonna give him a call. Um, I think that the name of this project is gonna be Orange. You wish you could drift. You know, like knock knock. Who's there? And uh, you know, banana and, and orange. You orange. You wish I didn't say banana or. or Gauge doesn't work. Um, the, the fuel lights on, but okay. But uh, I mean, as, as far as a car though, it runs and drives good though. Yeah, mechanically, it runs and drives fine. Okay. So. Uh, do you know if that one has the limited slip differential in it, or if it's the open one? I'm not sure to be honest. Okay. You never done a burnout or anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um. But uh, um, well, yeah, I'll uh, I'll give you a call uh, tomorrow and and try not to sell it if if you can. But yeah, so it sounds like he's uh, he's not available tonight, which kind of sucks because I I really wanted that. I really wanted to get that that damn thing tonight and then make a video a call out video tomorrow. But yeah, that uh, that definitely looks like exactly what 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 I need. I mean that that fits the. I like the perfect description of it. Dope. I don't know. Calm tomorrow. What's really going on today, David? Oh, you know, Trevor things. Trevor things, you say? Huh. So about a week ago, we did the the whole. Uh, gotta take take the hat off and on account of the the damn head cam. What are we gonna call you? What's your name? What's your name on camera? I don't know. So this is Dave. Everybody knows Dave as Dave, but should we change his name? What? what? Big Bird. No. What about Uncle Dave? That's that's the norm so far. So we, I I started calling him Uncle Dave a long time ago. Um, he's not actually my uncle, but he just kind of he, he he's kind of like an uncle because he's like older than me and shit, but. He's like a bad uncle because he doesn't offer me any good advice. 
kind of. Some good advice. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he sometimes he's, he steers me wrong, but other times he, he doesn't do too bad. Um, let's see. So yeah, we are on our way to uh, to Denver. That uh, the Orange Crown Vic that uh, that I was looking at. I don't know. It was like a damn week ago, and I was thinking about doing the whole you know Haggard Garage thing, but. I emailed them, they never emailed me back, I commented on there, I got like, you know, a total of like 300 damn thumbs ups on that damn comment, and, uh, or on the, the spread out comments, so, uh, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, I think everybody wants to see it, I wanna do it, I think it'll be fun, I'm not specifically like calling them out or like talking shit or anything, I, uh, I just think it'll be, it'll be interesting to do, to kind of see like how we both go about the project differently. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy. But so the plan is, is I, I was you know watching one of their video or Haggard Garage's one of their videos again. They uh, they're gonna turbo the Crown Vic. I thought initially they were gonna, they were gonna make a drift car because they they said like season finale build and they didn't really say like what the build was consistent of. Um, I would really like to get in contact with them and kind of negotiate like some sort of like challenge terms or something um, so that we each have to, it kind of has to do like five things and then you know we basically have a, a winner at the end of it um, I, don't, I don't know if we're gonna have one of the the things be uh, who can make the most haggard car because they might win that one but um, but yeah so I don't know I, I was thinking maybe try to get one to figure out which like which one's most classy most haggard like and then obviously like the best burnout because they figured out that they're gonna do like it's gonna be like an Australian like style burnout car um, the best jump and yeah maybe like the best jump the best burnout the best drift like the drift with the most people in the car or something like that I don't know uh, that that's that's kind of some of the options the sprayers if you So we got it. We made the deal. Run a family dollar. So I, first burnout. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if this. You probably should back up though. Here though. Good. Did it do both tires or only one? I think both of them spun. Did I do it again? Yeah, both of them. <laughs> yeah, both of them spin as posy. Nice. So, uh, yeah. That's tight. Get gas and trip ready, home. ready to rip, huh? She's ready to rip. Uh-oh. Seatbelt bud and the traction light's on. I was like, oh, oh, that's probably just burning it off that thing in the front. The, huh? Yeah, the header. So we got it, guys. I uh, got it for a thousand and fifty bucks. So this is a 08 uh, Crown Vic. It's the P71. It's the police model. So it has the, I believe this is the 323 or 330 something rear end versus the the Crown Vics and the or the the normal ones. You know, like the grandpa model with the leather and shit. Those ones have like a 276 or some shit like rear end in them. Uh, but yeah, it seems like it runs and drives good. It doesn't, I mean, I, unless you pulled the check engine bulb, it doesn't have any check in, engine lights. It does a burnout. I, uh, I'm curious about the whole traction control situation. Uh, definitely kind of picks up. I mean, it feels like you're, you're riding into, it, it, it feels like it looks when like you see like a cop car like driving around how they're like and they just like take off and shit. But, uh, I'm pretty excited. I uh, really wanted to do a burnout with him in here, but uh, you know, I asked him, and, and he he didn't seem like he was down for it. He's like, eh, you know, I'd probably not. Um, but yeah, he had basically the identical one, and uh, you know, I I 
I don't think there was any reason he was selling it because it was like broken or anything. He just put a water pump on it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, so we gotta go get gas now because he said that the fuel gauge doesn't work. Uh, maybe we'll be able to fix that when we throw like a, a Walbro in the tank. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, this lady's giving me the old, the old wave on in. Let's see. What the hell side is the gas door on? Look. What? Oh, I know. Uh, maybe when we leave it. So this thing already is, this thing's E85 capable, bud. Maybe it has a big dope fuel pump in it. We should, we should just put... Maybe it has big dope injectors in it, too. The lady's yelling at a car when there's a bike on. She's in the street. She's yelling at a car? Yeah. cruising this thing down the thing it's doing just fine at like 65 there's no shimmies there's no shakes I mean I don't know if you guys have ever like ridden in taxis too much but for the most part if you ride in like one of these that's a taxi like they're pieces of shit like I don't know like the guys just drive them into the ground um, and that's one of the things I noticed when I was like first like test drove this thing is it actually feels really nice like you know the tires aren't all wobbling and, like the struts don't clink and it doesn't like when you go over a bump it doesn't bounce for a mile uh, the heater works great like I said the the fuel gauge doesn't work. Radio works, cruise control's working just fine. We'll actually do the speed limit here. The tranny seems to be shifting just fine. All right, so we stopped at uh, one of my buddy's shops and he's not he's not here right, right away, so we're gonna kill a little bit of time, maybe go grab some food, but. I'm curious if this thing is gonna do a good donut. This is the donut mark place, I guess. So it, uh, we figured out it doesn't like tight donuts. Um, I think if I, I don't know, tried it a few more times, but I, I know he's got neighbors that like live in their shops and shit, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna piss nobody off. Well shit, we're almost back. Man, I gotta do something about this, like, whole fishbowl effect. Cause man, all these damn headlights and shit behind me just like blind the absolute shit out of me. So I think, I think you need some tinted windows. Oh, the maiden vo voyage. Are you gonna drop it and do that, or what the fuck are you gonna do? It sounds like a swarm of bees. Right, guys so we are uh, getting ready to do a belligerent ass uh, burnout well David's getting ready to do a burnout I'm gonna fly the drone on account of this is my first time well not first time I flew it a couple minutes ago and, and it's just messed with it but I don't want him to crash it yet Into the ground. so he's gonna do uh, he's gonna do a burnout and maybe a donut Aaron's gonna be filming the stuff Camera guy. we thought you were look at that you even yeah Holy I brought shit. the right fucking you, shirt for oh, today. get over there get over there get all them tires Put a little plug here. <laughs> it looks like that. That pulley right there. So we'll turn it off a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's that. What? That tensioner. No. Oh. That's fine. That'll be good. Fucking give her a fucking donut. So when you buy a Crown Victoria, naturally the first thing you want to do is a burnout.
How was that bad? <laughs> Not bad. This goes down, and then this like down goes forward, and then this goes backwards, and then like this. I think it's kind of a smoke machine. No, like a train. With the drone saunting me here. The new Motion Auto TV drone. I almost cut my fingers off. <laughs> you can be nice and warm. Tell me about taking a poop. You can eat a. Off, uh, bathroom. So, I need one of those toilets like is in Japan. Oh, that's how it up. heats the thing and then it gives you the spritz and it like. It yeah, exactly. So this is uh, this is what happens when you when you just uh, you give her shit. So these tires didn't even last last a day around here. Ops. Hey. Oh, yeah, they are the... Oh, bud. They are the uh, crap ones. What size do you think these are? What what thread pitch? It might be Nissan. A couple of you guys seen on my Snapchat, I was playing around with uh, these RPF ones. Uh, just kind of have it sitting on there, kind of close to the ground. It has a little bit of, of uh, weight on it, but there's no lug nuts on it. So it's basically just kind of riding on the hubs. You can see it's a little crooked, but uh, yeah, I think the... Definitely gonna put the RPF ones on there, not you know for full time, but for temporary, just for it to kind of look dope. I uh, it definitely looks pretty cool with them on there. Uh, maybe needs a little bit thicker sidewall tire and actually to be lowered. I'm not sure if maybe I could get away with using like some Mustang like lowering springs or something on it. But yeah, you could see see what we did to those tires earlier, and then got another set mounted, and then the front ones. So we got some tires to kill with this damn thing. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna raise it up real quick and uh, show you guys kind of the room that we have on uh, on like the turbo set or like kind of go up like how I'm gonna go about the turbo system. So yeah, here's up underneath it. So you can see uh, basically on the the driver's side, this is where it comes back. On the front, I was thinking about, I wish, I wish it was like an LS where you could flip the headers and, and point them forward. But uh, on this, you can't really do that because there's a water neck coming right out of the block right there in the front. If you could see that up there, that's right in the damn way. Um, so the plan is, is to just kind of cut it off right here. Uh, Haggard Garage has already kind of done there. They're similar to that, but I was looking up the, there's a guy on uh, on one of the, the forums, that's pretty much how he did his, is he, he brought it basically over here, and then put it in a Y, kind of bridged them together, and then went straight forward. Um, you can see right there, that is the AC compressor. So, should be able to uh, just sneak a pipe right underneath that, kind of come back here, merge these two guys together in, uh, in like a single three inch pipe, Come up front, do a 90, go straight up, and then uh, the plan is, is to put the, the turbo right behind the radiator. Um, I'm definitely going to have to get rid of this big fan and probably do some slimmer, smaller fans in there. Um, another idea was to maybe like route the piping like up here under the front bumper because there's a lot of, in like this corner. But uh, I don't know, the whole oiling system, I don't really want to... Uh, I don't really want to have to, well, I guess we could, we could do like a scavenge pump off of it and, uh, and then pump it like back up to the valve cover for that. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool with the RPF ones on there. I, I kind of like that this thing's orange and I honestly think that's the reason I got this thing. Uh, it basically it was like a week that, uh, that the guy had it before, uh, before I ended up being able to go up there and, and take a look at it. 
So the guy, he was originally asking 1200 bucks on Craigslist. I, uh, he ended up lowering the price. And when I went and, and test drove it, I offered him 900. He said, uh, he said no. So I uh, told him 1000 He said no. And then I was like, well, how about 1050 So got it for 1050 bucks. All right, guys. So uh, that's pretty much where I'm going to end this video. Or I'm, I'm going to end this video right here today. Uh, like I said, I, I, thought, uh, I thought this would be a pretty cool, cool video to do. Uh, especially I've seen Haggard Rogers doing theirs. I thought it'd be cool to do a little uh, little challenge. Uh, you know, th that's kind of the whole point of, of YouTube for me is, uh, you know, building cars, making videos, and having fun. And uh, that's pretty much exactly what they do as well. So uh, I basically invite you guys to, uh, to follow along and uh, see how they go about their projects, see how I go about mine. Um, and uh, I went ahead and I emailed Haggard Garage about, uh, about a week ago, actually, before I got the car. And uh, they haven't emailed me back yet, but... Uh, but I'm sure they've seen the post by now on Instagram. I uh, appreciate you guys all tagging and, and you know tell, calling them out, basically. But uh, I'm assuming I'll get a response from them within the next couple of days. And uh, you know I'd love to, to make it official, you know, like an actual challenge between between us, and uh, kind of set set a couple like parameters that we have to do or meet, and uh, you guys be the judge. But uh, but yeah, if uh, you know if I don't get a response out of them or if uh, if you know, it ends up not working out or whatever. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna build this car. I'm gonna turbo it, and they're still gonna build their car and turbo it. They're gonna do burnouts. I'm gonna do burnouts, and uh, and we'll see see what happens. Uh, my overall goal with this thing is, is I don't want to tear it apart completely. I don't want to do like a crazy tube front or anything with it. Um, I'd like to leave as much of the stuff on there as I can. Uh, obviously, delete the AC compressor and. Uh, I think we're gonna have a little bit of fun with it with nitrous before uh, before we we throw the turbo on there. So this turbo is basically a, uh, a Garrett GTP 38, not a 38 R, but uh, this is a factory turbo off of a 73 Power Stroke, and it has this uh, this interesting V band like divided inlet into it. And basically, this is off of a 73 Power Stroke. I have the Y pipe that goes up in here, the clamp and all that stuff. Um, so we could kind of bridge it if I wanted, just kind of bring the pipes back up and then and then up into the, the pipe in front of the, the engine. Um, it has an interesting oil link set up on it as well. I'm going to figure that out. Basically, it's mount the turbo up here and uh, figure that out have a lot of fun. Uh, I, I'm pretty excited. This this car is a, an 08 and uh, I, I was kind of skeptical about getting it at first because this throttle body right here is uh, a drive-by wire throttle body, so it's all electronic. And uh, I was scared that that was going to be kind of a pain in the ass to tune. Uh, but I was looking, I have HP tuners left over from when I was uh, messed with the, when I had the LS1 in my drift car. And uh, so I, I still have HP tuners, and this is on the, the supported vehicles list. Basically, an 05 to 2011 Crown Vic or Grand Marquis is uh, tunable with HP tuners. This is a factory flex fuel car, so it has bigger fuel pump, uh, bigger injectors, as well as a flex, flex fuel ethanol content sensor. Um, so I think we'll be able to do some cool stuff on it with the 85. We'll actually be able to tune this thing properly. I don't want it blowing up after like the first burnout. There'd be no point in uh, in doing the build if it was just going to blow up after you know after like an hour of, of messing with it. But uh, but yeah, uh, you know, be be sure to stick around. Check out my other videos if you guys haven't seen any any of them. Uh, my name's Trevor. This is my uh, S14 uh, 2J drift car. And uh, so yeah, I'm building a, a Mark IV uh, Toyota Supra over there as well. I'm bringing that thing back from the dead, but. Uh, Figured this would give you guys some awesome content to watch during the holidays. And, uh, and yeah, look forward to making some more videos. So thanks for watching.